A stern warning from China this for China this morning. No financial help to Russia in violation of international sanctions. That warning coming from the U.S. State Department. A new denial from China that Russia ever asked for assistance. The network Sophia Lama for Washington Bureau is in D.C. this morning. Russia is moving towards the western part of Ukraine and striking regions as close as 11 miles from NATO member territory. Chaos and devastation as Russia intensifies its assault on Ukraine. Russian missiles hit a large military base near the western city of Lviv, killing at least 35 people and leaving more than 130 injured, according to local authorities. The attack not far from Poland, drawing the war even closer to the borders of a NATO country. Russian forces also opening fire on two American journalists, killing one while wounding the other across the checkpoint and they start shooting at us um, so the driver turned around in Kyiv there have been heavy explosions and multiple casualties sick kids fleeing on makeshift medical trains the unthinkable bombing of a maternity ward parents weeping over their children's broken bodies in the streets U.S. officials say Russia has asked China for military support, including drones, as well as economic assistance. Both countries have denied the request was made. We will not stand by and allow any country to compensate Russia for its losses from the economic sanctions. Meanwhile, the fourth round of talks between Russia and Ukraine will take place today. Ukrainian President Zelensky will be addressing the U.S. Congress tomorrow virtually. For South Florida Media Network in Washington, D.C., I'm Sophia Lama.